Cambridge University's honorary doctorate is one of the world's most prestigious awards. In 1991, the eight recipients of the degree included Mary Robinson, the President of Ireland, Sir Alec Guinness, German novelist Stefan Heim, Nobel Prize winner Pierre Gilles de Gennes, and Paul Erdős, a 78-year-old Hungarian mathematician. With more published papers and collaborators than anyone before him, Erdős is the most prolific mathematician who has ever lived. Paul Erdős is perhaps the most remarkable mathematician alive today. He has started so many fields which have blossomed and interacted and have become very important in mathematics and even computer science. He has about 1,300 papers. I don't know exactly how many, and he doesn't know, and I think there is nobody on the world who knows exactly how many. The Erdős number is a favorite among mathematicians. Erdős has an Erdős number of zero. If you write a paper with Erdős, then you have an Erdős number of one. And I think there are between one and 200 people that have an Erdős number of one right now. If you write a paper with somebody who's written a paper with Erdős, then you have an Erdős number of two. And if you write a paper with someone who's written a paper with someone who's written a paper with Erdős, then you have an Erdős number of three. Pretty much everybody has an Erdős number of three or less. I have the best collection of Paul's reprints outside of Hungary. I made a special effort to get every single one. And some are in journals that don't exist anymore. Some are in obscure Hungarian journals or South American journals. And Paul doesn't even know where some of his papers have appeared. You know this joke about the Erdős number. And now there's a new definition. If I have k joint papers with somebody, then his Erdős number is 1 over k. And Hajnal and Sárközi are leading. But among the women, Vera is clearly leading. Her Erdős number is less than 1 tenth. He came out with the real thing when he was about 20, 19 or 20. And because he proved what was called Shebyshev theorem. He gave a seminar that he proved that there is a prime between n and 2n. Well, not bad for a youngster. Prime numbers are numbers which can only be divided by themselves and the number 1, like 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Simply put, Chebyshev's theorem states that there is always a prime number between any number and its double. The prime number between 2 and 2 times 2, or 4, is 3. The prime number between 5 and 2 times 5, or 10, is 7. The prime numbers between 19 and 2 times 19, or 38, are 23, 29, 31, and 37. Young Erdős's mathematical proof was more elegant than a proof advanced by Chebyshev 60 years earlier, prompting the rhyme, Chebyshev said it, and I'll say it again. There's always a prime between n and 2n. He did his PhD simultaneously with his undergraduate uh, finishing his course. And I don't think he set for things like philosophy and education for which we ordinary mortals had to sit after the fifth year. I mean, Paul didn't bother about a thing like this, you know. Erdős and his friends from the university met on Sundays in a Budapest park to discuss problems. Their favorite spot was the statue of Anonymous, a medieval historian. Well, oh, I remember no. I told him this problem here. If yes. you have endpoints in the plane, yeah. not all on a line, 
Then there is a line which goes so exactly to the point. Several members of the group later became famous mathematicians. And then he was a Tibor! It was here, in 1933, that Esther Klein, a member of the anonymous group, posed a problem that led to the rediscovery of an important mathematical theory. Erdish and George Sekeresh, another member of the group, expanded on Klein's proof in what Erdish calls the happy ending paper. Because soon after it was published, Sekeresh and Klein married. <laughs> 